close the lid and press start. Before I get into it, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let's get into it. I'm going to be reviewing the RCA 2.0 portable washing machine, and I'm going to tell you the pros and cons um, of what I think about the RCA portable washing machine. Let's get into it. Okay guys, I have my portable washing machine in the kitchen. It is set up on the Magic Chef Compact washer dolly. And I am going to set everything up so you can see. Okay, I have the link catcher, which I'm going to put on. Okay, this is the area where you can put your detergent or fabric softener. I actually used it once and it really doesn't serve any purpose. And right here I have the link catcher, which oh, I hope you guys can see. One moment. The lint catcher goes here. I actually take it out um, and I clean it out and let it air dry. So I'm going to put that right there. And we have the drain holes, which I'm extremely, extremely, a moment disappointed about. Okay, this is the adapter that I bought from my local hardware store. I'm going to put in the faucet. Make sure I have it on correctly. This is the drain hose that I have right there. This is the extension cord, um, which actually isn't that long as I would like. It doesn't fit. I'm gonna show you guys. Okay, this is the cord. It is not long enough to fit right here. And I'm going to move, this is how far out I have my washing machine. I'm going to move it a little bit closer to the sink and it still doesn't fit. I have another outlet over here. And I'm just going to plug it in. Now it's plugged in. And as you can see, in the back there is a hot and cold water connect and I actually have mine connected to the cold water. Um, I'm not sure if it really matters or not because I'm going to use the cold and hot from time to time and I, I really don't think it matters. So just want to make sure that that's on there tight. Okay guys, I have my washing machine set up. As you can see, it's hooked up to the sink. The water is already currently on. Let's turn on the portable washing machine. Now, when you actually turn on the washing machine, it's automatically on a program, and the program is actually heavy, bulky, and the wash uh, cycle is automatically 44 minutes and the load size is large and the temperature is automatically set to warm so what we're going to do is we're going to 
change the program to normal quick we're going to change the little size to small and the reason why I'm changing it to small is so you guys can get an idea of what level it goes up to with small medium and large so I'm going to press start Okay guys, this is the low size of the small. It's currently on small. And let me show you what a medium low size look like. Okay guys, this is the medium size. I don't know if you can see the difference in the level. I'm going to close the top and press start. Okay, I'm going to pause it. And I'm going to change the low size to a large. And I'm going to press start. More water is being added. Okay guys, this is the water level for a large load. As you can see, it's on large. I'm actually kind of disappointed that the water level isn't as high as I anticipated it to be. I'm going to close the lid and press start. And also I'm going to also I'm going to show you guys um, I'm going to open the lid while it's going. Okay, I get a E3. This is an error message when you turn, when you actually open the hood. And I'm going to close the hood. Let's see what happens after. The hood is closed. And I'm going to press start. And then it comes back. Okay, I added some detergent. Now I'm going to add one pair of jeans. Those are mine. I'm going to add second pair of jeans. Those are my daughter's and third pair of jeans. And a pair of tights. Now I'm going to close it. Okay, that is, I believe, with um, three pairs of, three or four pairs of jeans. Let's see if I can add another pair.
thing that I did for these and more. I'm just gonna add two more shirts to see. Just close it, press start. The machine is currently draining. This is the color from the blue and black jeans that I have in the washing machine. See the holes is going to the sink and it's not going. The machine is currently rinsing, as you can see, it's not moving on the dolly. Okay, this is the extra lint for one load. Okay, I'm going to show you guys the lint after one wash cycle. This is the lint after one wash cycle. Okay guys, so overall I am happy with the RCA 2.0 portable washing machine. Out of a 5 star rating, I will give it a 4.0. The washing machine is definitely convenient and it beats going to the laundromat every week. That, did, that was an expensive bill that I had. And that actually cut down on the cost of me going to the laundromat. I love the fact that it has a stainless steel tub and it won't chip, rust, or snag clothing. I love the six fully automatic wash cycles. It has three water levels, small, medium, and large. And I love the fact that it, it's quiet it's not that loud as I thought that it would possibly be. The only thing that I didn't like about the portable washing machine is the fact that the large load water level doesn't go as high as I anticipated it to. And also the cord that you plug up into the outlet really isn't that long and that's kind of an inconvenience and also the drain holes I feel like they could have made the drain holes out of a better material if that makes sense but overall I am extremely satisfied with this product I'm not exactly sure if you know my review on this product may change six from six months from now or a year from now but if it does I definitely will do another review and I hope you guys enjoyed my review on the RCA 2.0 portable washing machine 